Hey, I'm really excited to see what's inside the new BCSC series. Let's take a look. So I got all of this in this very unmarked box here. And we see here, we've got the new colors for the BCSC. surgery. All right, so looking over here, I've got a pretty large stack of books here. All right, let's crack them open. Okay, I've gotten all of these books out of the wrapper, and let's kind of dive in and see what we find. Really, let's start off with the table of contents over here. And again, shout outs to all of the people who've worked really hard to put all this together. Let's see, so chapter one's about using research, the discussions on endocrine disease, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, heart disease, cerebrovascular disease, pulmonary disease. I mean, it covers pretty much all of the major things that we need to know. And if you're preparing for the OCAP, there are some really good um, questions that can come out of all of this because the way this book is written is specifically tied into ophthalmic considerations. So like this, vitamin B12 deficiency may cause bilateral optic neuropathy presenting with central acuity loss and secocentral scotomata on visual field testing. And that's something I see every so often in the neuroophthalmology clinic. As a beginning resident, or even um, if you're if you've just matched to ophthalmology and you're trying to figure out where to get started this one's probably a good place to start aside from learning all of the practical parts of the physical exam and just understanding terminology of the eye tough section to get through so again thank you so much to all of the people who've spent all that time and energy putting all of this together it's broken up into anatomy embryology genetics Genetics is probably just going to continue growing and growing as we discover how genes are associated with eye disease. And then here's stuff about the physiology of the eye. And then here are all the pharmacologic considerations. And that's also expanded quite a bit. And then this section's been added more recently. Started out with just talking about the principles of radiology and a lot of the useful tests that we look at. But this is kind of a new section looking at the role of digital ophthalmology and artificial intelligence. And I suspect that this section will probably continue to grow over the next many years. So let's take a look here. I still remember when I first started. I started out looking at this and there's like all of these different numbers. And, you know, there's some great diagrams to help you see where things are in relation to each other. When you're first starting out, though, this can be probably some of the more tedious things because you feel like you have to memorize every single little tiny piece of trivia. You know, there's some beautiful images here, good illustrations, you know, looking at genetic cascades and embryology, you know, some of the genetic principles that we see, all of tables and charts. And then at the end of every section, there are practice questions. And if you have the digital version, there, the questions are also available there. Uh, here's a glossary as well. But if you're preparing for the OCAPs, um, just kind of stick to the major chapters, um, all of the appendices and glossaries and stuff are there for reference rather than being question fodder. 